Okay, so we can show them that this, here's our designated ground wire over to this. And grounded to the fuse box, and the fuse box is grounded outside with a couple of copper rods driven into the ground. That's right, okay, yep. You know, that's uh, your designated ground. The black wire that comes around to the coil is right here. That's the, this. Uh, that's the baby. Okay, we can just do some close-ups of all how the connections are. I will show them the tap over here. All right, now make sure we're, our tap, it, which is marked right here, where it goes on the primary coil. Two little red marks right over here. All right, we have our breakout pin right there. And our uh, grounding uh, strike right there. Or somewhere for it to go. All right. All right, we'll all stay connected. Let me take a picture of these connections here. Now I got some a better better quality uh, opto, opto cable, and I got you fiber optic. Fiber, yeah, yeah. It's glass. Light pipe. Yeah, it's mm. glass. It's got a lot less attenuation. Than right. So, so glass. I got you. You wanted six feet. I got you a little bit more than six feet. And you know, just notice that the red goes with the red. It's pretty obvious where the connections go. Those should be connected when you get it, anyways. The only thing you'll have to do is connect this opto cable into this box here, which I may just leave connected. I can pack it all connected. And mm. the only thing you have to connect up is over here. Point to it, you know the, the the cable. It's red, red right there. Ground side of the rail, positive side of the rail from the variac and the power supply. All right. So there's not that many connections. So when you get the thing, let's see. All right, first thing we want to do. connect everything up. We got our ground cable connecting. We got our opto cable connected. All our connections on the coil are good. And when we flip this switch here, it's the first thing that I usually do. This red light should come on for a second and go off. Shows you that the overcurrent control is functioning. I have this set at one and on the dial 122. And now we'll be, we'll be adjusting this, you know, the more output you give it. So this light, which will show you that it should be blinking when the thing is on, when it's doing strikes. Okay, and we'll come around to the back side over here. All right, we want to turn on our controller. We want to make sure the controller is not, it's in the normal position over here. The timer bypass, up is bypass, where it says bypass, so you don't really need a timer. This is just your on and off. Just turn that on, you don't have to turn this up or down. I usually start with my controls in the middle. Turn my variac down. Plug in the power supply. Turn the variac on. Now you'll notice the red line. We don't want to go above the red line. All right? Mm -hmm. And this will show us how many volts of, and how much current is going on here. So we should be able to open this up and it should be starting to put out. Now, so I'm going to open that up a little tiny bit. 
So we're gonna walk over. See as that red light is on a lot, it means it's clamping the current down a little bit more than we'd like. So I'm only gonna turn this about maybe a quarter, quarter turn. And then we're going to bring this back up again. Uh, pretty much, pretty much what the light should be doing pretty much all the time. Coming on when the current calls. what you should be getting I went through the whole thing I couldn't find anything wrong with it I connected everything and it worked beautiful right when you got it in yep yeah. yep okay that's so good you shouldn't have any problems with the thing and uh now, got... did you uh, find that when you use the other controller with the plastic cable that it was marginal yeah I found that that cable is really you can only go so far with it with the five plastic fiber yeah yeah it really it really killed the signal hmm this one, you know, this is, this is about as long as I can get with this cable, but it was another three or four foot long. So, I mean, what, 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 uh, um, you got a much uh, stronger signal. Oh, yeah, totally. On yeah. that one now, than you have the other one with the show, even though it was short. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's the one to use, no question. Yep. And All right, cool. So we turn our power and on. if you have any questions, of course, you can get in touch with us, but... I think yep. you covered everything, right, John? Yep. All right. And we got another coil over there. So we, uh, you know, if you guys want another one? I got another coil already made up over here. Oh, for the um, the yeah. same quasar? Yep. And I got parts for another one. No problem. Oh, you put together. Nice.